Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play. We're still here in the Golden Sculptula house looking for the gold sculptulas. I'm still looking for the one that is seeming to invade me here. I'm not sure if they're in one of these pots. I really hope I don't need a bomb. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's quiet in here now. I mean, the last one should be out here somewhere. Perhaps. Maybe upstairs, second floor. Because I don't hear it. Oh, I do hear it. I think it's up, up top. So let's go give that a shot. Go take a look up there. One of the challenging things about finding these things in Ocarina of Time was they only really appear at night time. So you kind of had to be in the right spot at the right time. And a lot of these, the ones that are hidden in these soft soil s spots, you don't ever really think to check them. But nine times out of ten, there's a sculpture in them. I think in almost about every single one I checked, in Ocarina of Time, there was one. There you go. And once you've completed this, this guy is sitting here. Oh, I've been saved. I thought I was going to die. You see, a while back someone told me I could become rich and he gave me this mask. He said the instructions were inscribed somewhere in here, but when I went to look, I was cursed. If I had known it would be such an ordeal, I never would have taken it. Here, take it. It's yours. You got the Mask of Truth. This is the same mask the Sheikah spoke of. This mask allows you to wear and understand the wisdom of gossip stones and the thoughts of animals. I've had enough of this. As soon as I get it together, I'm going home. Well, hopefully you have a safe trip home. The swamp is a lot safer than it was probably when you entered it. So, thanks to me. Don't die. All right. Don't know what I should be doing next in here. I might see about fast forwarding the flow of, or fast forwarding the time to the next day. So I can go get the bunny hood. But I'm going to make my way to Milk Road. And. A blinding flash of feathers. I disappear. To Milk Road. Where this guy is still working at breaking this boulder apart. I'll go to the dawn of the final day. This is the first time in a while that I've had a good amount of time to actually sit here and play and record myself playing. Today's my night off. So these last couple of episodes, uh, I've just been doing one after the other. I don't know what time is a good time to post them. So I'm just going to do hopefully one a day. What's going on here? Hmm. Very curious. This looks like a a Poe or something right over there. I like how they use the Lon Lon Ranch music. The look. Isn't that your horse? It is my horse. Epona, what are you doing here? 
Skull Kid said he got rid of you because you weren't listening to him. I thought that meant he killed you. Sold you to the glue factory. What's going on here? Whoa. Huh? You? Who who are you again? Romani the ranch girl. What's added to your notebook? I don't know. Uh, my name is Link. What happened to her? Oh, I'm sorry. Right now I'm thinking a little my little sister. My sister, she she what shall we do? Our precious cows. If I thought it would come to this, then what Romani said I should have Crimea, the ranch owner, was added to your notebook. Sounds like there's some issues going on around in these barns and farms. We'll find that out on another episode. Probably after I've defeated Snowhead. And uh, a lot of people like the lore or the mystery behind the aliens that come here once a year around the carnival. I went into the wrong door. I can get a heart piece from racing the dogs over there, but I might get that after this. I get this bunny hood. Let's talk to this sad mister over here. I heard it from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, it's sure to take this ranch down with it. Ha. Huh. Oh, well. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. Not if I have anything to say about that. And I do, because I have this mask. You put on the mask and you push B to march. And you start like a little parade with the chickens. I'm gonna get a little closer just so I'm not taking so much time. I don't know how many chickens there are. I think there's like 10. If you see hear any loud banging and pops in the background, that's fireworks going off. I'm recording this the day before the 4th of July and my neighbors are a little excited. So they're blasting off fireworks in the background. Hopefully it's not picking up too hard on my microphone. My microphone is pretty sensitive. I have a blue Yeti. I don't know how to get it to be less sensitive. Not a very uh, technical person. Been working on trying to figure it out. I like the little song that came with this game or with this mask. A lot of the music in this game is pretty good. I mean, the Astral Observatory has, I think, one of the best um, songs. I don't know why they s have that one little area have such a nice song. They, like, put a lot of effort into that song, I think. I like the Clock Town theme. I like the song of healing. I like this little tune. The music in this game seems to have a lot more, I think, emotion. They're growing right before your very eyes. Just like they said would happen. My moon's getting awfully close. I can see the boogers in its nose. I don't really get it, but just seeing these guys with the crest and all... I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied here. You can have this for me. You got the bunny hood. My, what long ears it has. Will the power of the wild spring forth? Yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can go win me some dog races. Gambling in a kid's game? Yes. Racing dogs, no less. I couldn't imagine any other way. Wearing the bunny hood's nice. L look how much faster you go. Alright, let's speak to you. 
What do you want on a day like this? This is Mamu Yan's doggy racetrack, didn't you know that? You want to try a dog race? The minimum bet is 10 rupees. Yes. Then first go and fetch a doggy. So, the way you find out which dog is the best dog, and it's still a little bit up to chance, you pick him up with the Mask of Truth on and will tell you, Rough, today I feel like I can win. That's a pretty good one. Let's pick up another one and see what they have to say. Rough, my four pearls feel lighter than usual today. It's not a bad pick either. I don't know if I should be looking for a specific, like, phrasing. Both of those seem like they're pretty sure. I can't predict the future, so I don't know how I'll do. Good point. How about you? Today I should do pretty well. Huh. I want to find the one who just got done taking a dump. I should do all right. Okay, well, it kind of boils down to this one or the other brown dog I found. Let's try this one. And I think you have to make a bet of like 50 at least. If the dog you brought me takes first place, you get triple your bet, and second place gets double. If you the dog you've chosen places third through fifth, you'll break even and get back however much you bet. If your dog does any worse than that, you'll lose whatever you bet. What's the max bet? Okay, I don't know what the max bet, how much you need to put in. I'm going to do 90. I'm a betting man. Putting a lot of money on you. Oh, he's on the inside. That might help my cause. Come on. Come on. Come on, Fido. Get in there. Get up there. Get your butt up there. Come on. You said your paws were light. You said your paws felt light today. You're all the way back there. Come on. Well, looks like I'm losing that race. 90 rupees down the toilet. Thanks a lot. Well... I guess I, <laughs> I wasn't able to see what place he was in, but at least he broke even with me, so. I do, I wanna bet. I wanna find another dog. Let me try this again. So that's, that's rough, I feel like I could win, but then I feel like I could lose too. Huh. See, sometimes I feel like the mask doesn't really help you. I mean, it gives you a little bit of insight, but... Let's try this one. Let's try this one. I'm gonna put 90 on Sparky here. I don't know if that's really his name, but that's the name I'm giving him. All right, you better win, Sparky. All right, Sparky's uh, not making a very good uh, start to the race, and he's stuck back there. Come on, make it up there. Get around that one. Get around him. I know you can do it, Sparky. I believe in you. You can do it. You can do it, Sparky. Get up there. Get up there! Ah, third place, not bad. Not bad at all, I guess. I want to race again. This is going to take a couple of attempts. We might be spending most of this episode racing dogs. Let's check this old blue one. Ah, he's he's fighting for something. He's here for his wife and child. <laughs> you better win. <laughs> I didn't know this dog was married. <laughs> oh, goodness. If you don't win out there, your wife and child are going to die. All right. Oh, he's 
showing some promise. He's already in second place. Come on. You know what's going to happen to your wife and children if you don't win this race. Oh my goodness, he's losing. He's losing. Come on. What are you doing? Don't you love your wife and children? You lost. You did worse than all the other ones. That was a bad choice, yeah. If you don't know how your pup is feeling, you won't be able to know how it'll go do in the competition. Get with it. Well, it's not like I have a, a vast knowledge of what I'm trying to look for. I really don't know. All right, so people, I guess dogs that have wife and children don't do very good. I don't feel much different than usual. So let's just throw that one out of the pen. I don't want that one. Oh yeah, I feel unstoppable. I don't think I'll lose. That sounds like a winner to me. Oh, this one's not doing good at all. Get out of here. I don't want you at all. That one says his belly hurts. Pretty well. I want very good or nothing. I need a winner. Alright. Let's try this one. Usually it takes me about three or five attempts to find the right dog. All right, I can't bet 90. This is, I don't know, I still feel like this is kind of like best guess and a little bit of luck. All right, you better win. Oh. Come on, get up there, man. You can do it. Oh, so now that blue one wants a race. I'm not really paying attention, but I wonder if it's always the same dog that wins. Oh, well, he might win. He just might win this thing. Get up there, get up there. Don't let that, oh, you son of a. Your family's gonna die, kid. <laughs> that blue one just draggles around. Well. Oh, I guess you only have to win over 150. Well, I got the heart piece. No. I only needed the heart piece. Thanks, sir. Or, ma'am. <laughs> uh, let's make our way. Back to Clock Town. Where? No. Why did I get that out? I need my ocarina. Actually, I'll go back to Southern Swamp. There's a archery mini game that I want to tackle. As I said before, I'm not really good at um, the archery mini games or with the bow. So. I'm going to attempt to beat it. You can get a heart piece from it and a, a larger quiver. But you have to get a perfect score. And that's not an uh, easy task to do. Just run this way. In the 3DS remake, they added a fishing hole back here. I never really utilized the fishing hole. Because it doesn't have any uh, bearing onto the main story, it doesn't give you a heart piece or anything like that, so. Ah, mate, uh, are you wanna play? Okay, 20. The rules to my game are a piece of cake. Shoot for the targets from atop the platform, you gotta hit them all. That's all there is to it. If you don't aim proper with the thumbstick, you won't hit any of them. Are you ready, mate? I guess I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I want to hit them. I hit that one.
Oh, I missed that one. Sorry. I don't know what constitutes a perfect score. But you're just trying to hit all... Can I hit that one? I'm just trying to hit all the creatures that you can. Where are these birds coming out of? Hit that one. <sighs> I'm going to be a little bit quiet because I need to focus on the mini game. And, uh, whoa. Not so good right there. The archery mini games in this one and a Majora's Mask are a lot harder than any of the ones in Ocarina of Time, I feel. Come back up. I think that's the last one I need to hit. Ah, perfect score. <laughs> like one second left. Well, that's pretty darn good, mate. Perfect. There you go. Take this, mate. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna tell all my friends about this. See if I can do that again. If you do it a second time, you get the heart piece. So we'll give it a go. Nice. Let them come to you. Oh man, I missed that one. My hands are sweating right now. Got to relax just a little bit. I hit him. Nice. There's a wolf. Definitely don't want to miss the wolves because they. I think they're only up there for a limited limited amount of time, and they don't come back up. Where's these birds coming out of? Glad I hit that one. If I could hit it. I don't think I'm going to win this one. I might do it off camera. Just so I'm not wasting a couple episodes trying to do this. Because this isn't easy. I need to hit that one. Got him. Oh, I did it. I actually did a better job or in less time than I did the last time. Perfect. I wasn't sure if I was going to make that. All right. I'll tell my friends all about it. And there's another archery uh, challenge I can do in the swamp. That the now that the water is cleaned up, you can only do it while the water is cleaned up. So it's best to do it kind of after you've beat Woodfall or yeah, Woodfall Temple. I think I'm still able to do it. You shoot uh, targets off this hag's butt. You're supposed to hit 20 of them, I believe. That heart piece up there is part of a the moon's tier like uh, quest. You trade the moon's tier, get the property t deed. I'm gonna do that towards the end once I have all the areas unlocked and I can do them all in one go. But let me explain. You're not aiming for me with that bow. You're aiming for the target. If you hit me, I'll never forgive you. So you just wanna hit the target just below her butt. Hopefully I won't hit her too often. 
or if I can actually hit the target. So I'm going to try to concentrate because that's very easy for me to flub. It's a lot easier to do this mini game on the 3DS because you have, where did you go? You have all the gyroscope pick aiming, gyroscope, the motion controls. The motion tr controls make a lot of the bow mini games easier, I think, because you can get a little bit more precision. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm actually doing pretty good. About to jinx myself. So you get one more, I think, and then you should be good. Don't hit her too much. 21, 22, that's not bad. I think if you hit her five times, um, she tells you she's done. And I think I should, I sh that should be good. Pretty good, considering. Well, as I promised here, take this. A new heart container. So now wasn't that fun? If you like to play again, come back and see me. Tee hee hee. And there's another mini game with these arrows you can play back in clock down. I don't know what time it is in this day, so let's take a look. Clock down. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but you know, I think the first time I tried to do those games when I was, uh, it was just like a week ago, I was recording myself playing this game and I was just not doing good at all. And so, if you still have time, why don't you try, Sonny? Okay. So, I think you're trying to get over 50 points for the quiver. If you hit all of them, oh no, 40 points. If you hit all of them, though, you can get the heart piece. I don't know if you can get it in the first go, though. So. Oh, missed that one. So definitely wouldn't be able to get perfect score here. But I might at least be able to get the quiver. Missed that one. I like kind of like to start from the left and make my way to the right. And sometimes you're able to just kind of move your thumbstick just enough to get perfectly on the next target. And I like it when I can do that. Not very often uh, am I able to do that, but. It's nice that they do have a pattern for this one. It's not like just random. Oh, I hit that one. It's gonna, that's gonna cost me. Oh, darn. Need to get, like... There we go. This should be enough for the quiver. Well, look at that. You hit 43. That's a new record. Well, here you go. You traded for the largest quiver. Now you can now hold up to 50 arrows. This may be our last day in business, and we sh you shot pretty well. All right, well, that'll be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.